Hey guys, this is Chris, the Old School Picker. Welcome back to my channel. My sales this weekend were pretty good. I had a couple of great sales. You'll want to watch for some bolos. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. First order I had going out was this uh, retail arbitrage deal. I don't do good with retail arbitrage. I never have. I hate doing it. But for whatever reason, I convince myself to try it every now and then. This was a deal about two years ago almost. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how bad I am at it. Pick this up, a bunch of them. I picked a bunch of them up for, I think, if I remember right, either $2 or 250 I can't remember. I think some of them were $2 and the other ones were 250 Anyways, this one sold Lex Luthor Justice League action figure. I think they're the 12 inch, 10 or 12 inch figures. It sold for a whopping $6.95. This is not the Bolo I was telling you about earlier. But keep watching. I got a couple of good ones. Next order I had going out was a video game. Whatever For whatever reason, older wrestling games do fairly decent. Uh, they're worth picking up. This came in a lot. I bought just this past weekend actually at a yard sale. I stopped at one yard sale. Picked up an Xbox 360 system and 30 games for $75. It had a, some other controllers and stuff with it, too. Turn, turns out to be a pretty good deal. I think I listed over $200, video, uh, $200 just in the video games. So Plus, I have the Xbox system and all the controllers. So, $75 and let's just say $250, $300 deal. But anyways, this is the first video game I sold out of it. It was it sold for fourteen ninety five plus shipping, so yeah, keep an eye out on um, older video games. I guess it's because all the characters are not in every video game, like this video, the two K fourteen will have characters that are maybe not in two K fifteen. That's the only thing I can come up with as far as why older wrestling games do well. But this one, fourteen ninety five plus shipping, not bad. So keep an eye out on older wrestling games. Just to prove my point, I sold another video game out of that same lot that I bought this weekend. Once again, an older wrestling game. This one's from 2008. But this one has, if you know anything about wrestling, the ECW characters in it, which makes this one pretty popular. And I sold it for $15.95 plus shipping. So another decent sale. Alright, next sale I had was another retail arbitrage this one i done fairly well with uh i went to big lots of all places a while back and they had a ton of stuff on sale for like 90 percent off i believe it was and i think this was it was around it was an odd number it was but it was less than two dollars it was like a dollar fifty something i don't remember but i bought a bunch of them and the, this is actually the last one i have and it's just a roulette party game that comes with shot glasses pretty cool uh not big money but for like i said i, I bought like six a peak there was like four different games and i bought like six six each and i think this is the last one i've had i had so pretty good deal because it was multi quantity listings but this one sold for 12.95 plus shipping and it is going out global shipping and i believe it's going to russia so uh thanks russia all right, next sale I had was some more video games. I've had these for a little while. Uh, just some DS games, if you can see them. That is Spider-Man Friend or Foe. And this is Tron Evolution. And I think I bought these in a bulk lot where I got several systems and a bunch of video games. So I don't really know what I have in them. Pennies. Uh, and they sold for $6.95 plus sh shipping. And I logged them together. Um just to get rid of and I actually have a quite a few more sales I, I think I had like 16 this weekend and I'm just gonna put some of them up on the screen because they're really cheap video games and I'm not gonna waste y'all's time or my time either going through them so I'll just put them on the screen real quick to show you but I won't get to my better sales for the video. All right, this next order I had, I'll just show it to you like this. Um, a lot of seven of the miniature Hess trucks. If you've ever looked at Hess trucks before, 
Hess vehicles. They're not very popular and they don't bring big money. But I had a chance to, I had an opportunity to buy a big lot of them not too long ago from one of my guys. But it came with a lot of other stuff too. When you broke it down piece by piece, I had $2 a piece in the items. So this lot of seven, technically I would have had 14 bucks in. But most of the stuff was really, really good. Uh, I'll show you one of the other things here in a little bit. But um, So technically I would have had $2 a piece in this stuff. But this lot of seven, it's the miniatures, um, sold for $39.95. And if you go back and watch some of my older videos, you'll see some of the other Hess trucks, the larger ones. I've done fairly decent with them. They usually bring anywhere between $15 and $20. They're not big money, but uh, when you can pick them up for $2 each, it's a pretty good deal. And these, I probably could have sold for a little bit more if I'd sold them individually, but uh, the miniatures, your best, in my opinion, it, to lock them up and get rid of them. So 30, uh, seven pieces sold for $39.95 plus shipping. So decent sale. All right, next sale I had going out was this uh, Rebel AH-64 Apache helicopter. A lot of times these models, especially military vehicles, will be really, really good. However, the snap tight ones, the ones that you just snap together and don't glue, they're usually not. Um, if I had it to do over, I would not have bought this. I paid a dollar for it from my dollar source back a long time ago. I finally got rid of it this weekend for $4.95. All right, that'll bring me to this next item, which came out of that same deal. Um, so I would have had $2 in this piece as well, technically. But it was one of the better pieces. It probably was the best piece out of the deal, and I finally sold it this weekend. I priced it high because I knew what it was. But, and it was my best sale of the weekend. Two dollars into this, it's a Harley Davidson Zippo lighter. It has not ever been uh, used. Hopefully, that's not too shiny on you. It's pretty cool though, because you take it out, and actually, I can't open it because it's never been used. I don't want to break that seal. But if you open it, um, and the reason I know this is because when I looked at comps some people's was not new you open it up and it's a it's a motorcycle motor inside the inside the lighter so it's really cool but so technically i had two dollars in this and i sold it this weekend for 149.99 so definitely my best sale of the weekend awesome awesome deal two dollars into 150 plus shipping uh I'll do that all day. So I wish I could have one sale like that every day or even one a week would be great, but it don't always happen that way. Let's go to the next sale. So old Zippo lighters is definitely uh, a bolo, especially if it if you can cross over into another genre like Carly Davidson and you can get them cheap. I got lucky on that one because it was brand new sealed in its case, you know, the tape on the back. So very, very good sale. So that's definitely one of my bolos in this video. My next bolo, now the, the Zippo lighter, you may or may not ever find one of those, but these I would think are laying around everywhere, especially yard sales and uh, thrift stores. But I was walking around my thrift store a week ago, I guess it was. Uh, I was going through the sporting good sections and something caught my eye. And a lot of people are going to remember these, but it was this right here. Get it to focus. Anybody remember those? It's old Whiffle Ball Bat. And when I seen those block letters like that, I remember having one exactly like this, made in the USA, the block letters. I believe with doing some investigation, when I found them, I had no idea that vintage Whiffle Ball Bats was a thing as far as for collectors and stuff, but apparently it is. If you don't believe me, search vintage wiffle ball bat on eBay and go from highest to lowest. Some of them are not worth much, but some of them are. I believe this one is a generation two, if I'm correct, but I actually found two of them. This one I don't believe, and I'm not an expert on these, and I'll get more into that in a minute. Uh, this one has more bubble letters. If you, hopefully you can see that. 
I don't think this one's as old. But anyways, I seen this one and I grabbed it immediately because I was like, man, that just brings me back to so many memories of playing out in my backyard or in my front yard wiffle ball with my neighbor. Um, we played it every day in the summer. And uh, so I knew it was old and I picked them up. They were 50 cents each. I didn't bother looking up comps on eBay. I was like, and I honestly figured they were worth about, especially the older one was worth, you know, 20 bucks or something. I, I got them, loaded them up, took them home, and I got to looking and I was like, oh wow. I listed them together because I'm not 100% sure what generations they are. I listed them together and I listed them high, so I thought. Like I said, I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Within two hours of listing them for $99.99, $100. Um, and I had best offer turned on and everything. Somebody bought them. Uh, it blew my mind, honestly, because I thought I was listing them high. I thought the one with the block letters, the one I believe is a generation two, I thought it would be worth about 70 bucks. And this one I wasn't real sure about. So I just logged them together thinking, you know, first person sends me more than about a $50 offer, I'm taking it. They didn't even make an offer. Within two hours, they bought it full price. So wiffle ball bats, guys. Granted, they still make these, the new ones. You know, you can probably go to Walmart and get for 10, 15 bucks. They're not gonna be worth anything. But vintage wiffle ball bats, keep your eye out. Definitely, definitely a bolo. So a dollar turned into a hundred dollars. So between this and the cigarette lighter, I had three dollars in those two sales and they sold for $250. So, you know, that that made my weekend right there. Had a qu quite a few other sales. I wasn't even concerned about those after I made those two sales. So awesome so all right i appreciate everybody watching this past weekend i had a huge goal met the, uh, as far as youtube goes and that's all thanks thanks to you guys um i don't want to get choked up here but uh 600 subscribers i battled through the 500 so so hard it was tough uh i was stuck in the 500s for four months so i am so glad to see that 600 i think i'm sitting at like 602 right now more info on that coming up this week i promise i hate to promise but i'm gonna try uh some channel announcements of some things i've got going on in my brain about what's to come for this channel i want to start taking it a little bit more serious now that i'm getting a little bit closer to the thousand mark um i've still got a ways to go i, I know but uh you know something about getting out of those 500s because i stuck in them for so long just renewed my energy to do this again and uh so hopefully more things to come in the future in the near future so keep an eye out remember i think uh i believe i looked today and only like 30 percent of the people have my notification bell turned on so if you want to watch my videos turn on the notification bell that's all i can tell you because who knows when i'm going to drop one right but hopefully i'm going to get more consistent on that that's part of the announcement uh, i'll give you a sneak peek on that but thanks so much for watching guys i appreciate everything you do i have so many people to thank to getting me to 600 so many people shared me out and i don't want to start naming names because i know i'll leave somebody out but if you've done it thank you so much i appreciate it so much this community is awesome thanks for watching Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and hit my notification bell. Old School Picker out.